On September 20, 2001, WorldNet Daily would report much more regarding the threat. The terrorist message threatening Air Force One was transmitted in that day's top secret White House code words. As the clock ticked away, the Secret Service reached a frightening conclusion. The terrorists had obtained the White House code and a whole set of top secret signals. This made it possible for a hostile force to pinpoint the exact position of Air Force One, its destination, and its classified procedures. In fact, the hijackers were picking up and deciphering the presidential plane's incoming and outgoing transmissions. In the week after the attacks in New York and Washington, more hair-raising facts emerged. The terrorists had also obtained the code groups of the National Security Agency and were able to penetrate the NSA's state-of-the-art electronic surveillance system. They seemed to have at their disposal an electronic capability that was more sophisticated than the NSA. They also believe that the terrorists are in possession of all or part of the codes used by the Drug Enforcement Agency, the National Reconnaissance Office, Air Force Intelligence, Army Intelligence, Naval Intelligence, Marine Corps Intelligence, and the intelligence offices of the State Department and Department of Energy. Since no single individual has access to every top-level code at any given time, a single mole would not answer the case. It would have to be a large, widely spread number. U.S. experts do not believe bin Laden was capable of infiltrating double agents into the heart of the U.S. administration on a large scale. <laughs>